Hi, this is Trish Kelly, owner of Australian Labradoodles Midwest Connection. I'm here with Darcy, who was bred to Dublin. These puppies are almost two weeks old. They'll be two weeks old Sunday. They're doing fantastic. Darcy's being a great mom. She was just running around outside, um, just enjoying stretching her legs. And now she's come back in and settled down, is nursing her babies. You can see them getting, uh, walking a little bit more and being more active this week. Um, this will be the only video this week, so I just uh, just thought I'd get one today because everybody's moving and shaking a little bit more. Um, in about another four or five days, their eyes are going to open, and then they'll see Mama, and it'll be another whole little step for them. Then they'll really get to her when they want to. So I'm just going to go through each one of the puppies here and show you who's who. Um, this pink collared puppy had the red collar on and she outgrew it so we switched her to pink. I'll pull her off the teat a minute. She's not going to be happy about that. Let's see her face. There she is. And this is uh, Lila. This is Lila Rose. And she's mad because she's looking for a teat. So you can hear her making the baby noises and look, jutting around. That's her looking for a teat. So I'm going to put her back and I'll pull her out again towards the end. So that's, that's Lila. And you can see how much more they're moving this week. Um, then we've got the green collared Remy right here. Oh, another one I'm not going to like being pulled off. That's Remy. There's our Remy, nice big boy, gorgeous, gorgeous face and stocky body. And love, love, love these coats. Oh, man. This is Remy, and you can see him. He's smelling mama. He's going to go right back and find a teat. Very active, these guys are getting. So Remy, and then we've got Rufus, who's the blue collar right here. Oh, yeah. Rufus is catching right up to Remy. I bet they're just a few ounces apart. Beautiful face on Rufus, adorable red coat, little white spot on his forehead. He's looking, he's sucking on me here. He's looking for a teat. So just wonderful looking pups, gorgeous coats. That is Rufus. And then over here, sound asleep, we have um, Frida, Frida Grace. This is Frida Grace. And she's sleeping, but I'm going to wake her up a little so you can see her, oops, see her pretty face and see if she wakes up a little bit. Come here, Frida Grace. Are you going to sleep right in my hand? Yeah, you think you are. There's Frida Grace. Cream with just a little white dab here on her forehead. Beautiful face. Beautiful puppy. And um, then lastly is the puppy I'm holding back, Micah. Here's a cute picture of Micah, sound asleep. Um, again, the smallest of the litter, which is what I wanted in my program. Um, and stocky, though, is I'll get out. He'll probably max out around 30 pounds or so. Uh, beautiful, nice square head and gorgeous pup. So he's already been placed in a guardian home. So I'll just kind of scan around for a couple minutes to let you keep an eye on Darcy as she's cleaning her puppies and feeding everybody. They're all doing great. I'm going to try and pull these guys off one more time. What's that, Darcy? Huh? Uh oh. There goes Frida Grace. She smells mama there. She's going to make her way over, I think. See, they're just about up on their on their legs. They're kind of half scooting, half walking at this point. So let me see these guys. There's again, green one. This is Remy. Oh, he's stuck on there like glue. There's Remy. Nice little white spot. Just a little little dab on his forehead. Beautiful, beautiful puppy. That was Remy. Rufus. Come here, Rufus. There's Rufus. 
And that's our Rufus. And the little pink one. It was uh, the red collared one, and sh that's Lila. Lila, I'll show you Lila here. She's eating away under there. She's making baby noises while she's sucking away here. Oh, and there goes uh, Remy to get the other teeth. That's just how they do it. They just pile on each other. And uh, Frida Grace right here. She's cuddling with Mama. Aww. And then this last one with the blue collar is Rufus. Rufus is looking for a teat. I'm going to show you Rufus and then I'll let him get over by the teats. Uh oh, and Micah's getting up. He wants to eat too. Making all kinds of baby noises. <laughs> Just gorgeous. Gorgeous babies. Darcy's doing a great job. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great week. And by the way, um, Michelle Mankey has been uh, contacting you about the crate drop-offs. And um, we're doing it a little bit later than uh, we usually would by about a half a week to a week. And that's just due to the timing of when she had them. And uh, it's not a big deal. We're still going to give you the full two weeks of crate training. We just used our, we use our crates. So the beginning couple of two, three, four days, they are... We'll be putting two in a crate and three in a crate since there's five puppies and letting them sleep like that. And then after that, we wean down to right after you drop your crates off, we do the individual crates. So it works out very well. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day. Thank you.